Hey team, welcome to another exciting episode of the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club. Today we're gonna to be doing one of my favorite cuts and that is the beef shank. Beef shank is one of my favorite cuts because it just falls apart. It's one of those gorgeous fork tender, just, just fun, fun cuts to eat and to cook and it's super simple. Let's get into the action. So today we're gonna to be cooking these beef shanks on the grill, uh, but the same thing applies to if you're doing it in the oven. So what we wanna do is we wanna get a nice pan and bring it to temperature. Now I've got my grill set up at 350 degrees. I've got a nice Le Creuset here coming to temperature. If you were to do this inside, you'd start this up top on the stove, on the range, uh, and you'd get it to medium heat. Let's go ahead and season up these beautiful shanks with some camp mix and you just, a little goes a long way. Notice it's small granule. Beautiful, let's get both sides while we're at it. And look at that, we've got a nice piece of bone in there and the marrow is gonna leach out and really bring some big, bold, beefy flavor to this dish. All right, now that we're all seasoned up and we've got our pan to temperature, let's put a little oil in there and let's sear the meat. So step number one, searing the meat. Now we want to drag that meat across the bottom, make sure that we hear that sizzle. We got one opportunity to get that big, bold sear or a nice crust on there. Okay, we're gonna sear both sides of this and then take it out. Then we're gonna put our vegetables, our carrots and onions and celery, and kind of pick up some of that fond, F-O-N-D, fond on the bottom. Uh, and that's gonna help bring more big, bold flavor to this amazing braised dish. Nice sear, we set these aside. And now that we got that beautiful fawn on the bottom of this pan, check it out. This stuff right here is gonna be accepted by these gorgeous vegetables. A couple of large pieces of garlic. Put a dash of our camp mix right on those vegetables. Oh yeah. Starting to get some nice color on these vegetables. We're not worried about cooking the vegetables at this point. We just want to start to soften them up and start getting them engaged. Uh, to deepen that flavor a little bit, let's go in with some tomato paste. And this is gonna bring a nice caramelization to the entire dish. We want to thoroughly coat all those vegetables and really, really get this nice and toasted off. Just as that tomato paste is beginning to caramelize on the bottom of the pan, it just gets me going. Like, I get really excited about this. The weather's cooling down a little bit. We're braising again, you know, things are happening. Uh, you don't want it to sit on the bottom of the pan too long, though. So, we're gonna keep on moving it. And as soon as we think, oh my God, it's gonna burn up on us, we're gonna deglaze. So, I did stop by the butcher's market the other day and picked up a nice bottle of wine. I got a purple cowboy, I like the name, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna deglaze now. And we're gonna go with about a little less than half the bottle. That wine is gonna bring a little bit more depth of flavor and a little bit more acid to help break down that beautiful cut. Now that we're reducing, I like the bubbles going on, uh, everything's just starting to come together, let's go ahead and put in our shanks. We're gonna top that beautiful vegetable uh, and, and tomato paste and, and red wine with these beautiful shanks. You just kind of, you don't want them stacked, you know? Try to get a vessel where you can put them side by side. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put in some beef broth. So we want enough liquid in here that it's not gonna evaporate during the cook. This is gonna be our braising liquid here and it's gonna continue to instill that beefy flavor. Just enough to almost cover I'm gonna give it one more little stir, and I'm gonna put in some bay leaves, all right? These bay leaves are gonna to continue to exude big, bold flavors throughout the cook. You can put in peppercorns if you want. You can put in parsley stems. For me, this is exactly where we wanna be. Uh, we're gonna let that beef broth come to temperature. It's gonna to come to a slight simmer, and then we're gonna put the lid on and close the dome. So it's at this point, if you're doing it in the oven, uh, that you would go ahead and have that oven preheated to 325. Uh, we've already got our liquid in there. We've got our, we've got our shanks back in there. You put the, put the lid on, here we go. Lid is going on. I'm gonna leave it slightly ajar because I do want a little bit of, uh, of, that, of that evaporation to occur so that we can make that sauce. Our braising liquid is gonna become our sauce, spoiler alert. 
Um, now I'm gonna close the dome and we're gonna stabilize it at that 325. Again, if you're doing this in the oven, that's when you kick it down below 325. All right, three hours. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Yahtzee. Look at that. Liquid is nice and reduced. Let's go ahead and bring it off the grill. Wow. Look at the motion. It smells amazing. Ooh la la. Yeah, Butcher Market has done it again. Um, let's do a quick plate presentation. We've got some heat and eat mashed potatoes here. They're super simple. You pop them in the microwave for a couple minutes and they're ready to go. Oh, they look buttery, they look fluffy. Let's get some of this shank and just pile it right up against those heat and eat taters. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. And it, you know, the bone is just so fun too. It's, it's, like a, it's like a hood ornament, right? Let's get some of those gorgeous vegetables. Oh my gosh. Right around the edge. Oh yeah. Those onions. I've got my name all over. Look at that. Butcher Market strikes again. Steak of the Month Club, look at that. Beef shank, dinner done easy, and I, I, got, I gotta go for a bite. I gotta go for a bite. This is just fall apart goodness. You know it's good when it just shreds under the, under the weight of the fork. Can you imagine putting this in a taco? You know, very uh, nice to plate it up and have a, have a full on meal, but Jeez. Yep, dinner done easy. The Butcher's Market has truly made it simple for us. Uh, folks, thanks for joining us, and tune in next month for another exciting episode of the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club.